Hello, and welcome to Dota Voice. In this video, we're going to go through the basic functionalities of the app to make you more knowledgeable about Heroes Through Data. Jumping right into the first tab, which is the Explore tab, you'll see a familiar hero layout where you can type your hero's name, find them on the board, and hit Escape to clear the filter. You can select heroes by clicking on them, and you can deselect them by clicking on them above. Once you've selected the hero heroes you want to explore, click the Explore button. You'll be presented with information about the selected hero heroes and how they perform, and how they perform against other hero heroes. In this example, Juggernaut has been picked 2.4 million times and has an overall win rate of 53.1%. He's played against Pudge 600,000 times and has an overall win rate of 50.4% against Pudge. You can sort this data to see who he's played against the least, which is Chen, who he wins the most against, which is Lone Druid, who he loses the most against, which is Animage. You can use the shortcut E button to explore Animage. So let's click this, and you can see that Animage loses the most against Ricky and wins the most against Broodmother. He's played the most against Pudge and played the least against Chen. We can do this for one or two heroes. So let's add a hero and let's add Silencer. And let's see how Silencer and Animage compare against other heroes. The overall win rate is really good. It's 57.1, and they played together 70,000 times. They played the most against the Lion and PA and the least against Action Shadow Shaman. They have have the best win rate against Storm Spirit and Ogre Magi and the worst win rate against PA Slark. So let's say we want to see how PA and Slark perform. We click the Explore PA Slark button and it tells us who they played the most against, the least against, who they have the best win rate against, and who they have the worst win rate against. So the worst win rate for PA Slark is Ricky Necrophos. And you can add and remove information here via the add a button and you can edit what numbers are highlighted down here you can set a filter for the lower limit and upper limits on each of these metrics you can add uh, a match count per bracket so there's extra information there to see how many times in each bracket these combinations have played each other or played in total and so this is the basics of the explore page and you can page through this data down here by hitting next and it'll page you through to the next page so moving on to the combos page um, what you're going to have here is you can choose one two three four or five heroes and see the statistics for certain combinations of heroes so for one it's very similar to the explore page you can sort by matches total you can sort by win rate total so obviously the highest win rates are animes slark and pa and the worst win rates are lone druid Broodmother and IO, and the least picked heroes are Chen, Lycan, and Batrider, where the most picked are Pudge, Lion, and PA. You can do the same for two heroes and say who is the most picked, who is the least picked, who has the highest win rate, and who has the lowest win rate. And if I have the most picked, which in this case is Pudge and PA, you can use the shortcut to go back to the explore page and explore information about these heroes. So you can say, you know, oh, they win the most against these two heroes, but they lose the most against Dark Seer and Slark, or Chaos Knight and Phoenix. So if you deal with a lot of Pudge PA, this is a great place to find information about what heroes to pick to deal with that combination. And so that's the basics of the combos page. So moving on to the Team H page, you have this very familiar hero layout again, where you can help find teammates based on prior information. So let's say again, I pick my teammate picks Jug, and I want to find a good teammate to pair with Jug. Well, this says a good, the best teammate by win rate is Elder Titan. So you can add a teammate and be like, okay, I'm going to pick Elder Titan. Let's see who the next best teammate is. And by this information, it says Wraith King or perhaps Phantom Assassin or perhaps uh, Underlord. And so this is the teammates page. Useful, and you can jump back to... Um, you can say, if I want to find a teammate and say I'm, I pick Slark, you can go back and see how that combination fares. Who are they worst against? Who are they best against? Um, and that's the premise of the teammates page. So moving on to the last tab, which is the summaries tab. This tab summarizes data by week, month, and all time, and also provides a historical collection of data broken down by week and month. You can look at this data by one hero, two heroes, three heroes, four heroes, five heroes, right? And you have these sort of superlatives that tell you information about the week or the month or all of time. And so that would be most picked, least picked, most successful, least successful. And then we have these other criteria such as diamonds in the rough. And diamonds in the rough is an interesting 
criteria because it tells you of the least picked heroes, which ones are the most successful, right? And you can also have meta counters. So who best counters Pudge since he's picked a lot? And who best counters Lion since he's picked a lot? And so you have this for the week or for the month. So let's look at the month and let's look at two heroes. The most picked combinations are things like Pudge and Phantom Assassin and the most successful things like Phantom Assassin and Slark. And the diamonds in the rough for two heroes are something like an Elder Titan Underlord pair or a Dark Seer Jakiro pair. And they do really well even though they're not picked that much. Um, and here we have your meta counters listed out. You know, Pudge and Pierre are picked a lot. What are the best counters to deal with that? And this information says Wraith King and Elder Titan are the best to deal with this two hero combination. And you can do this for all the heroes and you have the statistics for all the heroes and you can also go into the historical um, portion of this to look at you know historically what happened in November who were the best who were the best counters who were the diamonds in the rough you can look at um, for the week ending of say last week December 16th you know who best countered Pudge that week who were the diamonds in the rough versus this previous week which is who are in there likely to be similar but we break them down by week so we can look at historical information and so you can do this for all things and so that is the summaries tab i hope this has been useful i hope you have a path to using the uh these four functionalities